Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Code Vein. It's your boy, the Afro Lad, back at it again. So, we're gonna see what's going around these plays. Let's play music. I can talk to this dude. Talk to that chick, maybe? I don't know. I can talk to this guy here. Mr. Flamboyant himself. Is that a car? Can I drive in this game? Okay, I can adjust my appearance slightly. Ooh, there's a note. Pre-order bonus. Harbinger. You can claim the pre-order bonus blood code harbinger from underground storage. Huh. There's an underground storage. Alright, well, I don't know whose room this is, but I'm snooping. This is my room. Got a bed? Yo, my guy just looking chill. Yo, how you doing, my boy? My boy. Oh my god, I did it again. My guy. Alright, I'm assuming that was your bed. I hope that was your bed. Otherwise, I slept in the stranger's bed. Blood code harbinger can be redeemed in the underground storage, you say. Where? Down here? Harbinger. Boasts high power and unique gifts that can only be used by those with determination. Determination. Alright, well, let's see. I've got the Harbinger Blood Code. Decreases my health, increases stamina and acre. Base balance is fine, mobility is normal. Weight limit decreased a bit, which is apparently fine. My attack goes down, but my defense goes way up. Everything else just goes slightly down. Hmm. Lower stock can be offset by heavy armor. Interesting. Yeah, that 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 stat decrease though is kind of disgusting. Holy Jesus, my defense just drops to nothing. I'll be taking like two hits and I die. But then I could like one shot everybody apparently. What is my strength at right now? B plus. It'd be up to an A. I don't know if I like that though. I really don't know if I like that. I gotta take more damage by a lot, but I hurt more. Is this also my bed? I could just sleep in anybody's bed. Well, they're all my bed now. Look at look at them stylish boots, my guy. Look at this. Look at this. You can't flex on them. All right, out of bed. It's time to get up, my guy. Look at that ass. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Uh, is there anything else I can peep? Nothing. All right, let's let's just move on. I don't know why I did that super random sidetracky thing, but I did it. I'm gonna keep exploring because this is a game. Talk to Lewis to gather more info. Oh, this is a thing that just tells you your objective. I could just play and stop music whenever I want. And about the piano? It's warm here, isn't it? Thanks. Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by your side. My name. I have no idea what it means. Hmm. I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. Thanks, Io. You're an unfamiliar face. Has Louis stuck his head into another pot of trouble? Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. Alright, thanks, Coco. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking. Yeah, yeah, inventory. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. All revenants carry some secret with them. 
Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Okay, so you're just not nice trusting of me. If Louis brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax, make yourself at home. Yeah. Thanks, Murasame. Look at this great sword just chilling right there. This is some. There better be a Monster Hunter Code Vein crossover. Come on. There you are. The revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Hmm. And then this is just training. Alright, well, I don't think I need it. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. The mistle. First of all. So the Harbinger only has one blood gift. Desperate burst. Deal massive damage to the area around you, but leaves you on the brink of death. Oh god, this sounds terrible. Berserker. Blow of madness increases power of the next attack. Dragon lunge. Let's see, dash forward and make a powerful overhead attack. Two-handed sword or a hammer. Balance up, iron will. Temporary reduces damage by weaving a barrier into your blood. Increases resistance to being staggered. Precision makes it easier to stagger enemies. Okay. Dark impulse. Increase the effect of dark gifts while you're focused. Shoot an intense flame. So this is all dark stuff. Stamina boost, sonic arrow, shifting hollow, guard stability, venom mark, spoil spotter. Then the fighter stuff I've already got all learned. Huh, so that's the only one I don't have maxed up proficiency on. So let me level up a bit. I'll take level nine. Nobody here at the bar. I could just sit at the bar. Ah, perfect. Hello, my guy. Rather majestic, aren't you? Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to the Luke. ability to draw strength from experiencing memories and the power to revitalize blood springs. Both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. So what, I just lie down? Alright, nope, no more. No more of that. I've already done enough of that. Whoa. Weird camera zooming. Alright, buddy. Did you... Did you discover what you need to discover? I've done what I can to look into your talents. I've confirmed something surprising. Okay. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately... Your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. So I'm just a void type? Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, you'll get something out of it. 
going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium that will give my power to you. Well, here goes. Ah, Prometheus Code. Well balanced for combat, but fragile. Bolsters dodging and parrying. Did you go visit Morasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. That's Weapons it? and blood veils are vital parts of a revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Holy crap, Once this is... Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. This is literally Vampire Monster Hunter. Oh, I'm so in love with this already. I've got just about anything you could want. C can I suck on them titties? <coughs> Alright, what do we get? Give valuables. What can I give you? Trading points. I mean... These items? Stamp to praise. Mercury chrome. Hmm. Interesting. If you want it, I got it. Now what you got, Coco? Anti venoms, anti stun, icker coagulant. Daggers, vivifier. Hmm. Interesting. So this is where I could buy all my meds at. Okay. Even the lost are valuable customers if they bring the right coin. Let me know if you need anything. And how would the lost buy it? Come again soon. Thanks. Nice to meet you. If Louie brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. Alright, can I buy stuff from you yet? Oh, good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? All right, well, let's, uh, upgrade equipment. What do you want to upgrade? I literally don't know how any of this works. So it's just a plus one, just haze and queen irons. Okay. Getting slightly more damage. Base and scaling damage increases. Huh. It also takes haze, 100% though. My heavy axe is 306. This does even more. Juggernaut Sledgehammer does a fantastic amount of damage. The mobility is really low. The weight is really high. Huh. Reduces more stamina, too. I think I shall upgrade the Queen Slayer Blade. It's a C plus. Yes. I can upgrade it again. Oh, wait, no, don't have the haze for it. Upgrade Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Is that Ah, that's what I'm wearing. Okay. So these increases the drain attack types, your gift stuff. Okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Now, can I transform equipment? Which blood veil do you want to transform? What does this do? Does it turn into haze? Okay, so it gives you different power-ups based on what I've got, the chrome-wise. Okay. 
buying something? Does it cost haze? Oh. That is so cool looking. Alright, so I could buy... Upgraded versions of these things already as well. Huh. It costs a boatload of haze though. Thanks to everyone's hard work, I can offer new weapons. Take a look if you'd like. The blanched greatsword. Brilliant spear. Heavy axe. Crimson longsword. The Queen Slayer blade. Got can I sell to you? Sell? Ah. My axe is B and E. This is A and D. Let's change out the axe for the okay. hammer, I guess. Take care, then. All right, so changing out this for this. Multiplayer, I did not mean to do that. That's fine, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and move on. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? Uh, yes. Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinanome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. We think that means there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. 
Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Let's see, you can move from one missile to another. No, there's not enough to have visited area, the missile must be active. Okay, so I could just teleport. Is something up? When I woke up as a revenant in this prison, blood springs already existed, and everyone relied on them. We don't know where they came from or how they work, but without them, nearly all revenants would have joined the lost. That will still be the outcome if things don't change, though. That's why we need to study the blood beads. We can head out whenever... Giving vestiges found... Okay, so I give Seems you the I vestiges. Seems I can restore the blood code of a vestiges creator from elements left in the vestige. If you find any vestiges... Yeah, I'll let you know. So, Old City Ruins first, right? That's up to you. Hey, what's up? See you around. Oh. Is something up? Yes. We can head out whenever you're ready. Uh, how does one head out? How does one engage mission? Is something up? We can head out whenever you're ready. I go out to the front door, I guess, maybe? Yeah, versalizing your opinion or your appearance is a hot spring? Oh, I get a towel and everything, I guess. Is this it? Oh, people are just coming in, I guess. Why am I in the girls' hot spring? Yeah. I don't know what that's about, but I guess that's just fan service. Hmm. That's a thing. How? How do one leave? I've got just about anything. Yep, yep, yep. You got things that I need. How does one leave? Map. Head underground from the missile in the home base. Ruin City Underground. Okay, so that's actually where I'm going. Ruin City Underground. Okay, so maybe I was just really stupid. Rest at the missile. Teleport. Oh, I'm just actually really stupid. Literally says Ruin City Underground. Alright, so Lewis, what are we doing here, buddy? What do we need to do? Did you see movement? Yeah. I see dead guy. I 
That takes care of that, I guess. I'll switch over to the sword for a bit. down at any second. Let's hurry. Maybe he meant the outer crossroads. So like out here. So new people show up. Like this guy apparently. Oh, you're exploring this area too? I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. All right. Map, then of If you have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. All right, so that's just flat out for Hades. Don't hesitate to come back if you need. All right, thanks. Access in the depths, bring maps of the depths to Davis at home base will like explore different parts. Hayes and upgrade materials apart easily. Okay, so that's the depths. Interesting. Did you pick up something we can use? A vivifier, whatever that is. This way should lead to the old city. Well, if I have to do another dungeon. That's what it feels like. A whole nother dungeon just to get to the old city. A map of the depths. Davis would be very interested. Den of the dead? Starting to feel very dungeony. Anything hidden back here? No. Okie dokie. Oh, 
Alright, maybe there is no dungeon to get to the old city. Maybe it's just running through a really creepy and dank hallway. Oh. Well, that's a thing. Oh. Alright, well, I'm not really sure long. what I was supposed to do there. I won't take long. What are you talking about? Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing there. But you know what? I think this will be the perfect place to leave off the episode. I know we didn't get to do much. It was a lot. It was mostly just cutscene eating up time and time again. But I will save the rest of this and figure out how to get to the old city in the next episode, guys. If you liked today's episode, go give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed and join the Curly Crew. And I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Code Vein. I'll probably check out that other path because I think there was another path to take. I don't know what it is about down here. Oh, I can't leave. Hmm. Yeah, definitely saving this off for the next episode, guys, because I don't know what else I could do there. So I will catch you all here next time, everybody. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.